Hi everyone, uh, I am Robert, or some people may know me as RJ. Uh, our entrepreneurship challenge business idea was to create a service like the Red Cross that helps out after natural disasters. And what we mainly wanted to focus on here was uh, Puerto Rico and the hurricane that just hit them recently. And uh, some, the problems that the issues, the problems or issues that they are currently facing is uh, no water, no electricity, scarcity of food, loss of income slash housing, and the list just keeps skyrocketing from there. So basically, the group that I'm in is myself, Wyatt, Charles, Thomas, and Emma. And we all started throwing ideas off each other, and we wanted to see what each other had, and this is what we decided was the best idea for all of us. And we created a business business that was a non-profit, so we're not profiting from any of this whatsoever. That was our plan. And what we wanted to do was create a service that also helped out these people, but in a more family-oriented way, I would say, to make them feel like they're family to us and we're family to them. So basically what we're going to do is, after disasters like this happen, for example, in Puerto Rico, we actually had one of our team members on the line, front line of the Puerto Rico helping out with all of the disaster. So what we want to do is gather up as many things as we can, get all the money donations we can, and gather all the food in the water and basically provide these people with as much resources as possible. Making sure at the same time that they feel like they're alright and everything is going to be okay and that they don't need to worry. It's just material objects that they lost even though some of those houses and homes might be where they grew up for the rest of their life and memories will last forever. But we just want them to know that their materials and make them feel at home and make sure that everybody's safe and they have all the food, the water, and everything that they need. So we're going to do that at the time or after the disaster. God forbid it happens again to anybody else. We're going to make sure that they're provided with all these services as soon as possible with everything that they need. And then also, we're going to... Our big goal is to make them feel like we're family to them. So after the disaster happens, most of the time the media won't cover all this stuff. The stuff that happens a week or two after the disaster. For example, like Texas, Hurricane Irma in Texas. They cover the week or two that did happen when people were still being rescued. But what are they doing now? Probably nothing. They're not covering any of it because nobody, this is the time that people, like, they need the help the most at the time of the, after the disaster, but they still need our help now. For example, in Puerto Rico, they still need help rebuilding their island, rebuilding their homes, putting up electricity. These people's jobs are probably destroyed too, so they need income. So the way that our idea will be funded is from donations from people across the world, because disasters happen everywhere. We have tsunamis, hurricanes, tornadoes, uh, earthquakes, I mean, you name it, it happens, and nobody can control any of this stuff. So everything is going to be based off donations. What we're going to do is take all the donations from money-wise all the way to water and food and try to gather it all together and bring it to wherever it is. For example, like Puerto Rico, what our whole business idea is around right now. What we're going to do is, what, what our goal is, like virtually I guess you would say, uh, is to create a service to where everybody can ship their goods to us and we'll take it to Puerto Rico or wherever the disaster is and we'll do our best to get everything together at once but there's also a struggle in that because what if people donate at a time when the shipment's gone and we're gonna have to pay for planes to go back and forth and back and forth or boats to go back and forth and back and forth back uh, back and forth so that's a big struggle for our business wise like that whole situation but at the end of the day, it's non-profit and we're only doing it to help others. So that's not a big deal to us. The funds is not, we don't really mind any of like the money. It's not about the money. It's just about being able to provide these people with a quality service and making them feel like everything is okay. 
and we want to make sure that we can provide them with a income for however long they need it for until their job gets rebuilt or their company gets back up and hiring or you know what whatever they need in Puerto Rico really like at the time of the assignment was really being focused on like because another hurricane just hit them just completely devastated their island so they have nothing so we wanted to create a service like the Red Cross who is one of our bigger competitors but they also they say they're like they also make money from this our goal is not to make money from this which I think separates us from everybody else is we don't want to make money from this we just want to provide a good service to other people and make sure that everything is being put in line right and they're being treated right and they're being treated like family and that everything is going to be there for them we don't really have an ideal customer at all we just our customers are kind of like it's kind of sad honestly how our customers do come about because of natural disasters that they can't control so that I wouldn't consider them customers to us it's more like an opportunity for us to make them family more create a bigger family and have them feel like we're family to them because we're going to do everything in our power to make them feel safe and have everything that they need like food or water because people could starve and die after these natural disasters and you may never know we want to be the people in the back line after all the media and all the people who are just going there to help just because it's like it's like the disaster just happened we want to be there two or three weeks or a month after helping them rebuild their homes now when people don't know that like we don't care about the attention that it brings or the media or anything like that whatsoever we just want to be able to make these people feel at home and have everything that they need in order to survive because at the end of the day it's about survival survival of the fittest well if we're coming in from outside like uh, like the United States coming to Puerto Rico and we're coming in from where we're privileged and we have everything we need we didn't get hit by the disaster so we need to go help out the people that did get hit by the disaster and make sure that their life is in good hands and that they aren't dying from horrible things that they can't control because life is just too short to die by something that you can't control like this and to die by something like such as little as starving or I say that's little but it can be easily solved easily solved that's what our that is what our business idea is that's what our entrepreneurship idea is is to help them so we're not we have nothing to do with the money we don't care about the money we just care about providing a good quality service for them in conclusion I would say we don't really need investors at all we don't need investors so I'm not going to try to convince any investors to, to invest money into us all we simply ask is that if there is a natural disaster just do anything you possibly can to donate and our business idea if it does become reality is to make sure we provide those services to whoever gets hit by the disaster and that is myself Wyatt Emma Thomas and then sorry about that <laughs> sorry about that and then Charles sorry I had a cough <laughs> And Charles, that's what our goal of our business idea is. Thank you, and thanks for watching. And that is my entrepreneurship challenge business idea for WPC 101.